oil disaster was an event that was uh, scheduled to happen in somebody's book somewhere and that it's not meant to get fixed for quite a while. Um, they needed they needed a way to get in and do the and, and do the things that they need to do for population uh, um, for, for depopulation and uh, to to take over this country. Um, and, and I can support that with facts for many 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 different different areas. Um, but that's what I've been led to believe through my research, man. You know, there's 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 an elite group out there that call the shots and blow the whistles, and uh, yeah. this was meant. This was meant for us, and we're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it and, uh, you know, use our heads. Um, you know, the government's not helping. They are they are absolutely uh, stonewalling the American people on this. Um, it's just, it, it just it absolutely disgusts me to, to see um, the direction that uh, our, our federal government is, is taken on all this. And it just goes to show you that this, this side of the fence they're really on. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I you know, it, it, again, it's good to hear people like you, Phil, who, who say that because, uh, I mean, it's not good to hear. It's, it, it's bad, but it's the truth, you know, and, and the truth is sometimes very hard to swallow. Uh, again, I came out here, like I said, so naive, not versed in anything. You know, I hadn't even heard the word elite used in this way three weeks ago, you know, but now I get it, you know, and it, it's so evident and so obvious. Like you said, there's so many facts. We have, you know, one of the greatest things about this is we have so much on camera. You know, so much on camera that I think these people are not happy about. I and mean, we were followed around the other night by two different vehicles. Um, you know, there's lots of instances, especially since we started getting vocal about what we're seeing, where someone's not happy. Someone somewhere is not happy. I, you know, was it scheduled? I can't say. I don't know. But does it look like it might have been? It looks like, yeah, it might have been. And that's, that's horrifying. If that's true, and like I said, you know, we don't have the, the concrete proof, but if that is true then we got a real bumpy road ahead of us. We already do with the spill alone. But if, but if, if what, what I'm hearing is going to happen, happens, we got to we gotta really stand up as a country here and really take back our rights. We're, we're already losing. I mean, our First Amendment uh, rights are gone already. I mean, and w- w- how long, how long will we sit and not stand up? How long are people just going to be passive and, and not say something? I mean, I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. I know I'm not. I know you're not the only one who feels this way. How do we do this so that we do not succumb to them? They probably want us to revolt. They probably want an excuse to call martial law. I mean, what better? What better reason? But you know, if we all go into some sort of revolution for them to say, you know what? Now we're martial law. We have to be smarter than them, and we have to stay ahead of this curve because it's a dangerous and slippery. Okay, so that was the. Uh that was that little clip I wanted to play for you. Okay, so continuing on, you know, he mentioned about the, the possibility of uh, that this was a pre-planned event. Now we've covered this extensively in the previous teachings, from the sell-off of stocks from the BP CEO. I think he sold off uh, a huge amount of his own stocks. Uh, Goldman Sachs got rid of forty-four percent of their stock portfolio prior to this happening. All of the shadiness that surrounded the actual disaster itself. Uh, there, there's so many different things that you can look at. The fact that Halliburton cemented, uh, completed some type of cementing process on the oil head 20 hours prior to the blowout to the blowout of the well, and that was reported in the L.A. Times paper. But it was quickly, you know, at that point it wasn't talked about anymore. You could go on and on and on about all of the things that would point to this being a pre-planned thing that they did on purpose. And again, the motto of the Illuminati is Ordo Ab Cal, which in Latin is the 33rd degree, uh, the motto of the 33rd degree Freemason means order out of chaos. So they're trying to bring their order out of this chaos, and most likely this chaos, we've only seen the tip of it. We've only seen a little bit of it at this point. 